When we first came down here, we didn't know anybody. Uh, my wife and I are not artists. We don't know anything about art. Our idea was we can either join a swimming pool um, or we can come down and get Henry a studio. Once we saw how Henry took off and was engaged and really this is where he belongs, we jumped in with both feet. The one thing that I think that we're incredibly proud of Henry about is that he has become a part of this community on his own. Henry's introduction to the community wasn't like this kid with autism. It was like this young artist that has so much potential and the community really embraced that. For instance, one of our friends, when he first met Henry, he didn't actually meet him. He just saw him in the hallway and Henry has a unique dress. He wears a bow tie, he has like a sharp hat. Our friend sees Henry walking through the halls. He's like, oh, that's some French guy. Like, because Henry didn't engage with him the way like a typical person would be like, hey, what's up? He's like, oh, he must be French. It has been one of the best things that's ever happened because not only does it bring out who he is as an artist and all of the positive attributes of his personality, but he's also a part of a community that people don't know my name. You know, I'm Henry's mom here, and that's fine. I absolutely love that. The creative community is really unique in that um, we understand, we're, we have a level of compassion and empathy that I think a lot of people uh, just neglect, and not that it doesn't exist, but people tend to forget. Franklinton means a lot to us. It's, it's been good to us, and I hope that we're gonna always be good to Franklinton.